Okay, this is my second attempt. I'm trying something new here. I'm, I've changed the position a, a little in, in the camera so you can see me flipping the switch, hopefully. Um, I tried to do something in Studio One, uh, making st uh, separate tracks and uh, Studio One uh, has some problems sometimes when you uh, have other programs running simultaneously it starts and stops and it's it doesn't work but i was trying to fix the something in the latency between the picture and the sound and uh, so i will i'll go back to this one and maybe i'll correct it uh, this is windows uh, movie maker so i can perhaps align it a little better but uh, i'll go back i'm going back to this because it uh, obviously works um so this video is about the L280 uh, S uh, singles, primarily uh, Bill Lawrence pickups. Um, uh, and I'll tell you a little about this guitar. This one uh, I had made in around 14, 2014, uh, to play in a big worship band. Um, a gospel band, worship band. Um, and I had to perform a lot of different sounds and very fast changes. And uh, um, so I started out with the uh, L200s S's in it. And for that uh, situation, it worked very well. To my ear, the L200 S's are um, a little cleaner. I think they're El Nico 2. They're not as uh, mid-range, mid-range G um, as the 280s. This is, it, it's a very slight difference, but when you know, when things get on the microscope, it becomes uh, obvious. So for the worship thing, I was very happy with the 200 S's, but uh, since that band has folded, so I, uh, I made this uh, more for the, a more traditional sound uh, for blues sounds especially and I think the uh, 280s just have that little more uh, mid-range and punch for for that kind of thing and I'm very happy about them in the bridge I have an Arctic Giovanni uh, GVH1 pickup which I have put an El Nico 4 magnet in because it uh, makes again uh, the response more even, not as uh, spiked in the mid range, and I like that because this is um, this is an all rounder guitar. It is very uh, it, again it covers a lot of ground, and again I have the Q filter on the middle position for the bridge pickup and the five way switch, so I have neck um, neck uh, bridge uh, pickup in the middle position, and I usually back off the. Uh, the Q filter well, it's kind of reversed because when you have the the tone up all the way up the Q filter is not engaged and when I roll back the Q, Q filter engages and takes out a little mid-range and volume and I like it usually around 7 now going back a little uh, I started out trying all this uh, HSS nonsense uh, uh, around 80 around there. Uh, I got a 1974 uh, Stratocaster uh, and tried a lot of things on that uh, and I started out having a Duncan 59, one of the first um, hand rounds um, and the two original singles and they sounded good but I could not get position 2 to work um, as a Strat sound it's I if anybody has done it I don't know who but uh, I tried a lot of stuff and I cannot make a split humbugger work like a single coil and make it sound like a quirky strat in position two. I tried all kinds of things and also that's the volume thing and uh, I'll get into that a little. So in later years I've come to another approach which is um, not seeing position 2 as the strat position we still got position 4 right 
So uh, position two now is an, a milder option of the humbucker, meaning if I find the humbucker having too much kick and too much mid-range, I can go to two and have the humbucker with the single coil and it mellows out a little uh, and that's how I approach it now and it works for me. So I, you know, can see like you have 100% volume and then 85 and then you go to like 75 in the other positions. Uh, so you have uh, pretty much control of how much uh, you're putting out just from the switch. And now I'll show you the Q filter on the bridge pickup. And I'll check, I'll give you another sound. Um, just a second. Again, this is my Helix uh, with a Park amp patch, and I'll go to a little cleaner sound. This is full humbugger, no Q filter. This is Q filter at seven, and all the way. So you can hear it really uh, gets close to a single chord sound, but no hum, and we like that. But I'll go back to seven. And this is position two. And middle. Again, uh, I'll stress that I like the combination of the neck and bridge pickup for rhythm work and the way you can have it in a mix and it smoothly blends very good and it's still uh, distinct, but it's not spiky. And uh, I played in uh, my local uh, church in the worship band there for a couple of years and I found this very, very effective. Uh, again, because you're trying to blend with keyboards, singers, and all kinds of things, maybe two or three guitars. So you have to find a spot where you can um, be heard without being too loud. In church, it's you know, it's really crazy how how little dynamics you have to work within. I tried all kinds of things to still get some um, attack. And I also found out if I put um, an overdrive before my compressor, it was easier for me to work. Uh, when you, you know, hammer on a chord, the compressor takes it a little, and uh, and that is something I've um, taken with me. That's a very good tip, you know. The first overdrive before the compressor in a worship setting makes things much, much uh, more even. And uh, you don't have the leader looking funny at you and uh, giving you the evil eye or what you want to call it. But you have to have everything very, very controlled. Now, long story short. So. L280s. And again, I'll say I'm a big fan of the DiMaggio HS2, which I use in most guitars that... Um, I do uh, high gain and blues stuff on. I find them wonderful. I don't like the glassy strat stuff. So, and this is something between the L200s and the HS2s. Uh, so, and again, Bill Lawrence pickups are super defined um, and very, I can't find a better word, but say it's a professional sound. It's a very reliable sound. You know when you get there, um, you're in a good spot and you deliver a good. Uh, good solid professional sound so I'll play a little to a uh, backing track again um, nothing rehearsed I'll just do it and uh, let's see how it goes and this is a track in E
game.
Okay, so back. I'll give a little more details on this guitar. Um, this is one I had made in 2015, and um, a lot of ideas over the years is put into this one. You know, the pickups, the switching, the Q filter. Um, the trim system is the Wilkinson W uh, V C. Um, with uh, high wood saddles, I highly recommend them. For um, they have uh, a couple of good uh, what's called um, advantages. They have a rounder edge, and they're notched so the strings stay in place. And uh, because they're rounder, I think that helps in the um, in the tuning stability of the tremolo. I begin. I've begun to um, put roller saddles on the G string on some of my trims because I find only the G string is really causing me trouble. But it seems like these high wood saddles are better, uh, so I'm not. I've not changed this yet. I'll see how it goes. But so far, it, it seems to work better in tuning stability with the trim system. Um, locking tuners. These are the Jinho or Sung Il. Uh, 19 to 1 ratio. I like them because they have a little higher post and I like that for restringing. I don't like those who go all the way down. It's very hard to find the eye of uh, get the string through. If it's a dark place and you have to make uh, fast string changes, that can be a problem. So these are higher and I have string trees anyhow. So uh, this works very good. Um, it's an ash body. I like ash. I think it has a kick. It's a little in the front end of the note. That's very nice. Um, this is a special combination. It's my secret sauce, but uh, I like it. Uh, and all, all in all, this gives a very um, good broad palette of sounds with uh, enough kick and warmth uh, for what I want to use it to. Uh, this is. Again, this is the general guitar, blues, and all kinds of sounds. Uh, it's a solid guitar. Um, but the Bill Lawrence, as you can hear, sound very good, very uh, articulate, and um, they're warm, they're clear. Um, so I will go between different singles according to the situation. If it's a blues situation, I will go with these or the HS2s. And uh, if it's more like um, pop or worship, I might go for something cleaner, like the six chords or the uh, L200Ss. So it's nice to have these options. And I hope you get something from this. I've tried something with this uh, video setup, and uh, I hope you can hear everything clearly. Okay, bye for now.